my project is um, that I founded a nonprofit when I was 11 years old called Kids Caring for Kids. And basically, our mission is to raise money and awareness for highly vulnerable children in Africa by working to inspire kids here in the United States to care for those in need. Well, basically, actually, I started off um, using technology to get the word out about my project when I was 11 um, through the use of a care page. I don't know if you've ever heard of carepages.com. Basically, it's like a medical site where people who are going through something can update their friends and family. And so that was before Facebook, before blogs were really popular. Um, and basically, my project was started um, in conjunction of me undergoing two liver transplants. So that's really how I got the word out initially. Um, I mean, now, you know, once Facebook started and social media has, you know, taken shape and form, um, obviously have adapted to, you know, creating a Facebook page and a Twitter account for um, Kids Caring for Kids. And, you know, we have a blog and, you know, just kind of trying to take all advantage of all social media has to offer. When I see campaigns um, like Tom's Shoes, um, I think that that is something that, um, They've absolutely gotten right. They've taken what we have already are as consumers and made us feel good about it. And they actually, you know, they, you know, started with this product that was very simple, just, you know, a canvas shoe and um, put a social spin on it, which makes everyone really, you know, create a dialogue about what's going on in the world. Um, and, you know, with our world becoming more global minded, um, that's really interesting. And, and now that they've developed the fashion and um, the trend, I mean, walking across college campuses, everyone is wearing Tom's shoes. And it's, it's like, you know, I started wearing Tom's shoes before they got popular. And then, you know, two years later, it's like, everyone has at least like three pairs and it's it's incredible and I think that what they what they've done really is genius um and being you know the one-for-one one model like y you're buying something for yourself but you're also contributing to the world and um I think that's a brand that has absolutely gotten it right um I heard about Tom Shoes um through Blake Mykoski the founder um partnering with AT&T um to um, advertise not only Tom's Shoes, but their wireless connection in all over the world and how th th he, uh, they work together to do their job. Um, but basically, I think what is really interesting to me um, when I'm viewing an advertisement is showing different human experiences, um, not just selling the product, but showing us like humans that are actually using it in their daily lives. And um, especially when you take someone like, you know, Blake Mikoski, who's using his life to do something good for the world. Um, I mean, it definitely makes AT&T look good and it gets out a great cause for people to support. So I think it's kind of a win-win situation and it definitely makes the consumer more interested because um, it's, you know, talking about someone's life experience and, um, letting them know some someone cool that they wouldn't have ever heard about before. So.